Hello everyone, I'm Kenny Wong from PHW Homes Inc. And today I'll be talking about Langway Houses in Vancouver. I'll be talking about what they are, how your lot may qualify, and what the benefits are which are causing thousands of people to build them all over Vancouver. So what's a Langway House? As I'm sure many of you have seen all over Vancouver, there's small homes popping up in places of garages or carports. Those are laneway houses. So basically, they're small homes at the rear of the lot, close to the lane, which includes a dwelling unit and a parking accessory. This parking accessory can be on the inside of the laneway house or on the outside of the laneway house. Most people decide to do the parking spot on the outside of the house because if you have it on the inside of the house, it takes away from the square footage. So sizing for the laneway house can vary from 550 square feet to a maximum of 940 square feet, depending on the size of your lot. If you'd like to calculate that for yourself, typically it's 16% of your lot size plus an additional 40 square feet of storage space which you can use for your house. Is my lot eligible? In general, if you have a single family house with a back lane and you live in Vancouver, there's a very, very good chance that you'll be able to build a laneway house. Although there are many other requirements for building your laneway house, one of the primary reasons that may restrict you from building a laneway house is if you have at least 16 feet distance from your house to your laneway. But if you design correctly, most of the time you're able to make it work. If you'd like to find out more if your lot qualifies, please feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to check into your lot for you. So why laneway houses? The most common reason I find clients want to build laneway houses is for additional rental income. So for the pricing of a laneway house, which can average around $300,000, you'd have a very difficult time purchasing anything within the lower mainland within that amount. Additionally, laneway houses typically rent for much more as they don't have any shared walls like any apartments do. You have your own parking spot, private entry, and patio. And to top this all off, it significantly increases the resale value of your lot. There's a few other reasons why we're seeing people build laneway homes in Vancouver. Aging parents. Laneway houses are a great option to keep your parents close, but not too close but close enough that you can take care of them as they age. Children are getting older but want to have their own place but are having trouble affording an apartment in Vancouver. So this is a great option for parents to bring value to their lot but also have their kids stay close by to their home. Or I've even seen clients have it as an option for downsizing as their family is getting smaller, kids are moving out of the house and they don't need as much space. From there, they're able to rent out the main house allowing for a ton of supplemental income. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg for laneway houses. So if you'd like to find out more, please feel free to contact me or have attached a comprehensive guide on laneway houses in the description below. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found this information regarding laneway houses very helpful. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Or if you had a specific question that you'd like to have covered, please comment below. Once again, my name is Kenny Wong from PHW Homes Inc. and happy building.